This is 10 kilowatt transformer and if I say this, I'll be in big trouble. But why? That is what we are going to learn in this video. That's going to be real interesting. So stay here till the end. So now let's get started. Basically transformers are not rated in kilowatt but they are rated in kVA. So the question is why transformers are rated in kVA and not in kilowatt? There are many ways to understand this thing but we are going to explore two of them. So first we'll start with one of the most common way of understanding why transformers are rated in kVA and not in kilowatt. Basically, the iron loss of transformer depends on to the voltage and copper loss of the transformer that depends on to the current. None of this loss depends on to the power factor and that is why the rating becomes V and I only and not V I cos 5. So this is the simplest explanation why it is V A and not V A cos 5, right? But here there are something more to understand about this example. Basically in this example we are considering transformer as load and that is why we are considering its losses. Actually the transformer is not being used as load. It just transforms the voltage level and deliver the power to the next stage. That is what its work. It is not consuming any power. What it does? It just take power from one stage and deliver to the next stage. Basically what load does? Load consumes the power and then do some useful work. But transformer do not do that. It just take power and give it to the next stage. So now the question is, if it is not consuming any power, then how to define its power rating? And then this idea of explanation comes that though it is not a load and it is not consuming any power, but it is actual electrical device. And when there is some actual electrical device, there has to be some power losses. So that power losses will be considered as the consumption of power by transformer considering it as a load. So here we are considering this transformer as a load and whatever power being lost in that transformer will be considered as the power consumed by that transformer. So basically there are two types of loss, copper loss and iron loss. Copper loss depends purely on current, iron loss depends on voltage and none of these two depends on to the power factor and this is the reason why rating of transformer is VA or KVA or MVA but not watt, kilowatt or megawatt. This is true for motor also that the copper loss depends on the current and iron loss depends on to the voltage. Then why it is rated in kilowatt? So motor actually consumes the power. And that is why with these losses we need to consider the power consumed by that motor. And the power consumed by the motor depends on to the power factor. And that is why we need to consider voltage, current and power factor. And all these things together becomes the kilowatt power. So this is the reason why we measure power rating of motor in kilowatt, watt or megawatt. And transformer VA, KVA or MVA. Now there is another explanation which is more appropriate and real explanation of why transformer is being rated as kVA and not as kilowatt. Now let's consider a single line diagram of power system. First is generating station, then the transformer and then the load. As a manufacturer of transformer, I am not aware what type of load is going to be connected with my transformer. So the power factor of load is completely unknown to me. As a manufacturer, what I'll do, I'll decide the rating of transformer based on the information I have. I will not decide based on the information I do not have. So I have the rated voltage of transformer, I have the rated current of transformer. So what I'll do, I'll multiply the rated voltage and rated current and makes it a VA rating of transformer. That is ultimately the apparent power. Because it is the load who decide how much amount of active and reactive power to draw, right? It is not the transformer who decide that this much amount of active power should go and this much amount of reactive power should go. It is the load who demands that I require this much amount of active power and I require this, amount, this much amount of reactive power, right? So that is why transformer is rated on apparent power. 
दैट इज अल्टीमेटली द वी ए पावर और वी ए रेटिंग सो दिस इज द सिंपलेस्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन वाई ट्रांसफॉर्मर इज बिंग रेटेड इन वी ए नाउ लेट सी वॉट डिजास्टर हैपन्स इफ आई रेट द ट्रांसफॉर्मर इन किलो वॉट इंस्टेड ऑफ के वी ए जस्ट इमेजिन दैट दिस ट्रांसफॉर्मर इज ऑफ टेन किलो वॉट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू कनेक्ट अ टेन किलो वॉट रेजिस्टिव लोड विद द ट्रांसफॉर्मर विच रेटेड वोल्टेज इज हंड्रेड वोल्ट and 100 ampere with unity power factor so at 100 volt and unity power factor it's going to draw 100 ampere of current through the transformer transformer is also rated on 100 volt and 100 ampere so it can deliver 100 ampere no issue now the second type of load connected to this transformer is rl load the power factor of this rl load is 0.8 so 100 volt 0.8 how much amount of current it will draw to make 10 kilowatt it will draw 125 ampere of current through the transformer but the transformer is rated of delivering only 100 ampere so it will burn the transformer after some time so this is the disaster though the load is also of 10 kilowatt but this 10 kilowatt of load is burning the 10 kilowatt transformer why because the same thing happen if i connect a capacitive load with the transformer it will also burn the transformer so if the transformer got burned what will happen the customer got angry and they will ask me that i have promised them to give a 10 kilowatt transformer when they are connected 10 kilowatt of load the transformer is getting burned and then they can create a big trouble for me what type of trouble they can create for me if you know then write that thing in comments below or else you can click here and watch another interesting video on electrical interview questions so until we meet again in our that video till the time bye bye